everybody, welcome back. My name is Maria and on today's video we're going to talk about five actions you can take to have a more fulfilled life and upgrade your happiness. Stay connected. Okay, so the five actions you can take to have a happier life, they have to be applied every single day. Actually, not applied, but at least try to do some of them every day because I guarantee you're going to feel happier. So the action number one is actually being open to receive new things, you know, being open to get new things in your life. So change something on your routine. You know, if you do, if you go every day, uh, to work from this street, take a different street the next time, you know, see different things happening around you and that is going to uplift your energy, that is going to make you happier, it's not going to be always the same thing all the time. So change something on your routine, change something to a new thing, you know, even if you uh, uh, always buy, for example, the same uh, soap to shower, go to a different shop, buy a different fragrance, you know, just change little things in your day that is going to uplift your energy and make you feel happier, okay? Action number two is health change, it's diet change. So by changing uh, your diet, opting for something healthier is going to uplift your energy. It's going to make you feel more connected and automatically you're going to feel happier. So instead, instead of eating, for example, pizza three times a day, three times a week, Eat pizza only once, opt for something else, opt for something healthier, you know, instead of having a heavy breakfast, get some fruit, get some yogurt, something lighter, that it's still going to make you feel full, but it's going to make your energy higher, it's going to make your energy uplifted, and you're going to feel happier also. So try to change, try to opt for the healthier option that you can take during your day, during your meals. Instead of having heavier, uh, heavier meals, try something a little bit healthier. You know, even if it's, let's say, uh, one meal a day, okay? You're used to have fast food, for example. So and let's say you don't have time to cook, you don't have time to have something healthier. But even if you go to the fast food restaurant, uh, try to get something lighter there. Try to find a salad with a chicken breast or try to get uh, something with more vegetables. You know, just um, change, change your, uh, your diet, change your meals, change your health style uh, to a more healthier way of life. You know, do some more exercise, you know, instead of uh, if your work is close to you, instead of going with your car, try to walk at least once a week. Okay, go walking, you know, take some fresh air, change your routine, like I told you, change something on your routine, on your um, health, that is going to uplift your body, is going to uplift your energy and make you feel happier. The action number three is getting some more rest. I know we all have a busy life, we all have a busy day, we have a lot of things to do every day, and I know it and I understand, but try to take a few minutes a day just to rest a little bit. It doesn't mean sleeping, but just, you know, sit down for a while or lay down if you can, but for five, 10 minutes just to breathe, just to reconnect, just to rest your mind, rest your body, you know, give yourself a little bit more time, take care of yourself a little bit better, you know? We all need to stop a little bit. We all need to get rest, to recharge, to reconnect. Otherwise, everything starts to build up and we go just really to a very stressful life, unhappy life. So try to get some extra uh, rest, like I told you, you know. If you manage to go to bed earlier, go to bed a little bit earlier. Even if you don't fall asleep so quickly, at least you're resting a little bit more. Your body is relaxing uh, a little bit longer. So take some extra care of yourself. The action number four is volunteering. I'm not only talking about volunteering in big institutions or these kind of things, of course, that's always good, but I'm, uh, I'm also talking about small actions you can take to help others, to be there for other people. You know, let's say you're walking by someone and you see this person is struggling, they just went to grocery shop, they have a lot of bags and they're struggling with it. 
offer help, you know, that's not gonna kill you, that's not gonna kill the other person, you know, and I guarantee you're gonna feel really happy, you're gonna feel really good about yourself, and the other person is gonna be very grateful also. So, you know, whenever you have a chance to help someone, to be there for someone, do it, you know, it, 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 does, it, it takes you, you know, five minutes of your day, or sometimes not even that, and that's gonna make you so good about yourself, you're gonna go home so fulfilled with yourself, your spirit is going to be so happy, you know, so try to do some small things to help others, okay? If you see someone uh, that needs, let's say, he's lost, he's trying to find something on the street, stop by, ask them if they need help and give them the direction. It's like I told you, it's going to take you one minute of your day and that's nothing, you know, and that is going to make you feel so happier, so much happier, you know, it's going to make you feel just connected to yourself and you're going to feel so good. So don't, don't waste opportunities to help others. Don't waste opportunities to be good to other people, you know, don't go home feeling like, oh, I should have done that, you know, do it instead of uh, putting yourself in the situation of regretting later for not helping someone, help it, you know, take this step forward, take this courage to be the better person, to be, you know, uh, helpful to someone that needs help, okay, so that's gonna make you really happy, I guarantee. And the action number five is hobbies, you know, start implementing uh, hobbies to your life, things that you really enjoy doing, that you enjoy yourself, you know, uh, think about things that you used to like when you were younger, you know, playing some instruments or if you always wanted to learn to play an instrument, you know, start doing that now. Don't leave it for tomorrow. Do it now. Even if you don't have money to pay for a class, you know, on YouTube, there's so many videos of this kind of things. Search on YouTube, start taking action on things that are going to be good for you. You know, implement your hobbies on your day. Uh, if you like cooking, cook more, try to, you know, give some time to this thing that you like doing, if you like uh, painting, if you like dancing, you know, take five minutes of your day to do it, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be one whole, one whole hour, it doesn't need to be one, you know, a, a, a big amount of time, five minutes, five minutes is gonna make you much more happier, you know, uh, go to the shower, take a longer shower, you know, just relax, this is gonna make you happier, I guarantee, okay, so try to uh, bring back to your life things that you really enjoy doing, things that you really like since younger, since you were a child, so try to uplift your spirits, try to uplift your energy by doing this kind of things, and you will feel much more connected, much more happier and great about yourself. Okay, my dear friends, so these are the five actions that I suggest you trying to take every day, trying to do them every day uh, to uplift your energy, to make you happier, to make you more centered and to bring more attention to you. You know, we tend to give more attention to everything else instead of, instead of us. So by taking some of these actions, that is actually uh, bring uh, your attention to yourself that is going to uplift your energy is going to make you feel connected and much much more happier try them out please let me know how it goes in the comments below I'm really excited to know how you guys are doing please also let me know if you need uh, any help if you have any questions if you want me to make some other types of uh, videos to help you out I am happy to help also go on my Facebook page, on my Twitter, Instagram, on my website. I'm also there for you guys if you need uh, some personal uh, readings or personal energy healing. I also do that work. You can always go on my website to check it out. And please stay connected and I will see you guys soon again. Thank you for watching. Namaste.